The APC and Bola Tinubu campaign have taken their inflammatory rhetoric to a new level. Now, what is going on is that Dati Ahmed comes here and it has been a series of interviews by himself and Peter Obi. Yesterday was the final nail on the coffin. It was the final straw that broke the camel's back. That somebody who, wants, who wanted to become vice president of this country, of that, that, that level, would come here, sit before the world, and tell the world that he does not recognize a president-elect that has been declared by the Independent National Electoral Commission, and that the president-elect must not be sworn in. The Minister of State, Labor and Employment, Festus Keyamo, has petitioned the Department of State Services, DSS, demanding that Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labor Party, and his vice, Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed, be arrested and prosecuted for incitement and treasonable felony. I checked. Treasonable felonies are punishable by imprisonment for life. So, APC wants Peter Obi and Dati Baba Ahmed to be imprisoned for life. Kayamu went as far as saying the comments made by Obi and Dati are incendiary and capable of causing rebellion. Rebellion? For those of you not sure what this means, rebellion means an uprising, insurrection, or a refusal to obey constituted order. It refers to the open resistance against the orders of an established authority, such as the government of a state. In other words, Peter Obi and Dati Baba Ahmed are planning to start a war in Nigeria. That is the allegation of the APC. Think about that for a second. A city minister and a key member of Tinubu's campaign is accusing his main opposition of planning a rebellion or a war and wants him to be jailed for life. What is wrong with these people? Do they want to set this country on fire? What is interesting is that on March 20th, before Keyamo made this outrageous statement, a popular Nollywood actor and a supporter of Peter Obi has raised the alarm that Peter Obi is about to be arrested. In an Instagram post, the veteran actor Kanayo Okanayo said, quote, Peter Gregory Obi will soon be arrested. Watch out. The conspiracy is brewing. You want to bet? Bayer Ononoga, Tinubu spokesperson, has also called for the arrest of Peter Obi. The question is, what exactly did Peter Obi do and say that rises to the level of incitement of rebellion and war? Is it because he said he does not accept the obviously rigged election that has Bola Tinubu declared as winner? Is it because he petitioned the election tribunal to remedy the, the fraud Bola Tinubu and INEC are calling an election? What? What is his offense? Why these dog whistles and open intimidation? Look. Before you say they are just playing and nothing will come out of this, think again. You have to remember that these people are desperate and grasping at straws. Yeah. It seems the petition Peter Obi filed yeah. has touched the collective nerve of the APC, hence their apprehension and lashing out. If you understand the political dynamics of Nigeria, you will realize how dangerous what these people are doing is. First, Peter Obi is the candidate of the youth. During NSAS protests, the youth asked for a change. Instead of the government to be responsible, listen, and try to do right by its young people, they brought out the military and shot them while they were singing and dancing with the Nigerian flags. When the dust settled, with the wounded taken away and those killed buried, they said we had no right to demand for justice. They said our only chance is to change things through participation in politics. We wiped the tears in our eyes and said, fine, let's do politics. We chose Peter Obi to represent us. What did they do? They openly stole the election. In fact, the stealing was done in such a crude way that even the blind could tell. Both local and international observers said the election is one of the worst, if not the worst, in Nigerian history. The noted that, despite the much-needed reforms from the Electoral Act of 2022, the election still fell well short of Nigerians' legitimate and reasonable expectations. Two, Peter Obi is from the Southeast. We all know that the Southeast has been marginalized since the 1960s. Most of the people supporting Peter Obi from the South South, the West, the Middle Belt, and the Core North recognize this fact. Peter Obi's competence, as well as the fairness his election will represent, is the reason many of us non Easterners are supporting him. How do you think his supporters will react if the man is in jail instead of Asso Rock? Number three, the issue of IPOP and the other secessionists. If you're smart, you know that this is what this is all about. The opposition have been trying to tie Peter Obi to IPOP for a very long time. 
They tried to use the same narrative during the elections, but it did not stick. Now, they have to return to that narrative because they have nothing else to go on and they are scared shitless of the petition Peter Obi has just filed. They know that the biggest power Obi has is the youth. If the court fails to deliver the right judgment, they know that the silent majority of this country will take things into their own hands. They will come out in full force and demand for justice. This is what the ruling class fears the most. However, they have a plan. Their plan is to say that all those who will come out to protest are IPOB or IPOB sympathizers. That way, it will be easy for them to call in soldiers again to shoot at us. For that plan to work, they have to start laying the foundation now by saying OB is inciting rebellion or war. You see where this is going? It is a long game that they are playing. What they are expecting is that it's either Peter OB will be intimidated, back down and withdraw for the case. But as I keep saying, they don't understand that the stolen mandate is not just for Peter Obi alone, it is for Nigerians. We will never back down. The other thing they're thinking is that they are expecting that the youth will be intimidated of being tagged as rebels, secessionists or IPOB or IPOB sympathizers, whatever you want to call them. That way, they will stay away from Peter Obi. Talk about giving a dog a bad name in order to hang it. Well, it's not going to work this time. We are way past that right now. All I know is that the people that voted for Peter Obi want a good and prosperous one Nigeria. They are not interested in rebellion, war or secession. If they did, they would not risk intimidation from political thugs and law enforcement agents to come out and vote. They love Nigeria and so is Peter Obi. As a result, we are not going to back down to allow political jobbers like Festus Kiyamu and Bayo Ononoga to intimidate us. Before I close, I have to say that I have nothing against those that vote for Bola Tinubu. I want to believe that we all want the same thing, a good country that works for all. We just have different perspectives about who can get us there. I have said before that if Bola Tinubu ends up becoming legitimized by the court as a president, he may surprise us all by truly doing well. He does have what it takes to change Nigeria if he truly desires yeah. to do so. The question is, will he? Yeah. At this time, I do not think so. My anger is for his top political supporters who are finding the embers of war and violence. He needs to call them to order now. Things were not as bad in Somalia and Rwanda as it is now in Nigeria before they went up in flames. We do not want the same for our country. They think arresting Peter Obi will help them retain the stolen mandate? It will not. As for the DSS and the other law enforcement agent, please do not allow yourselves to be used by desperate politicians to destroy the country. This country belongs to you and to your children and to your grandchildren. Thank you for watching till the end. We need your encouragement to keep doing this work. You can help us by subscribing to this channel and liking this video. Leave us a comment in the comment section. What do you think of